we have several papers that have come out that looked at obesity rates in children born to mothers who had weight loss surgery. Kids born after weight loss surgery have lower rates of obesity, lower rates of metabolic disease, including diabetes. If you look at the ACOG guidelines, American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, they've changed the, t the, the recommendations regarding weight gain during pregnancy. With obesity, class one, class two, class three, are we programming these children as a fetus, programming the mitochondria, and encouraging the further development of obesity? By having them gain too much weight during, during the pregnancy. pregnancy? Well, how much weight are they normally supposed to gain? I mean, I thought it was like 20. But with the same, if somebody is class 3 obesity, BMI of 40, they're saying no weight gain at all. Oh, okay. Okay, so because we're having more and more mothers that are obese, and more with obesity during pregnancy, there's more gestation diabetes, right. kids are being born premature, there's their larger gestational age, especially with the gestation diabetes. So there's, there's a higher risk for both birth defects as well. Right. I mean, there's more mothers with obesity have higher rates of children with heart defects and also uh, neural tube defects. Well, I think that um, any mother who has obesity already raises the risk for her pregnancy and for her child to have obesity. And I think that's pretty well documented. If she has gestational diabetes on top of that, that raises the risk even more. One thing is that she may also deliver prematurely. One thing that most people don't know, and that seems kind of opposite to your thinking, is that an underweight baby also has a higher risk for obesity. And that's also well documented. So if somebody is obese during their pregnancy, their pregnancy risk goes up for all kinds of things. And um, so if they deliver prematurely or they have an underweight baby, then that baby is going to be at higher risk for obesity also. The other problem is that just being obese as a parent raises your child's risk for obesity probably at least 50%. And if both parents are obese, it raises it even more. So the more first degree relatives that are obese, the more likely that child is to be obese. And that doesn't mean that it's all genetic, because it can also be the lifestyle that you lead, whether it's the food you eat or the way you exercise and that type of thing. But um, there are some real scary things about having um, obese pregnancies and then having that baby. But uh, it, it's really very problematic. But we see those babies becoming obese in infancy. And we see them in, at Children's Hospital all the time. Now in my clinic, I start seeing children at the age of 2 to 21, but I've had to see children less than 2 uh, because people are insisting that I do. But we try to send them to just the dietitians at Clinical Nutrition but too many parents are saying, I think there's something medically wrong with my child, when really it's an overeating, it's, um, you know, overfeeding, overeating. And a baby born in a uterus where there's gestational diabetes will be born usually large for gestational age and have too many fat cells and be a very big baby, then they tend to overeat and they just get overweight very quickly. And for part, I pose that question because I think we're programming more obesity in our society the way that we're going right now.